Okay, welcome back, guys. So, um, I went to take an IR render for this just to show you guys how this looks. So, everything seems to be working correctly. So, I feel like <clears throat> for the eye, I'm ready to take down the normal map the intensity for the eye. But so far, for the skin, this looks good. <clears throat> for the skin, this looks good so far. So, the render setting I used for this was something a bit higher. Something a bit higher for this. <clears throat> so, if I go to render setup in here, so I kind of change the SSS to 6. I'm using an higher SSS for this. And I think I'm going to save this also, save this preset. So, I'm using the my highest. Let me see, okay, this is the setting, this is set, the setting I used for it. This is the setting I used for it. So, I want to save, I want to save this out. So, uh, we use export render settings. I'll just name this to skin. I render setting. And I'll save this. <clears throat> So if I just come in here under preset again and click on import render settings user, I should find this new one in there. Okay. So you can just save it also like that also if you want to. So I'll go back to import and I'll go back to my I think mid setting for this. So I want to I want to tackle specifically the the hair now, so let me just hide everything that has to do with the heart for now. And let's start with the hair. So, um, <clears throat> let's select, <clears throat> let's select head hair collection on this one. Let's go to our exigent tab. Fantastic, our exam tab is no longer there. And do a quick save. Turn all of, turn all of this on. Do a quick save again. I'll close this and I'll open this up again. This is the beard. Let me turn the beard on also. Because the exam tab, tab is supposed to show, but it's not showing so. We need to open this up again. So let's just close this and open it again. Okay, so let's make sure we are using setting this up properly. So set project. Okay, I think we should be good now. Let me hide this for now. Go to the head collection. Let's turn this back on. <clears throat> so let's start by rendering this first. Let's do the same for the eyes car collection. Okay, so everything is in there now. So um, if I should go to the under outputs, make sure the render engine is set on Arnold render. I think that should be pretty much it, I believe. Okay, no, that's it. So, so this is for the back side air there. This is also set this to Arnold render also. So make sure this only primitive in V is turned off. Just the same way, the same way we did in here also. So, but the scalp, the eye scalp, set on um, Arnold. 
eyelashes if it goes to an anode okay so <clears throat> we'll go in here we'll select bring drop this open the drop open the collection in here from the outliner select this two description selecting those two description from selecting that correctly right click and hold go to apply new material so once apply the material to the air uh, description so select unknown so we want to use the ai standard here apply that okay as soon as you apply that we should have this in here like so do a quick save so let's go to the hair let me just name this to ai add hair so we're going to be working with we're going to be working with the preset in here so if i should open up this render setup in here so if you go to unlock documentation doc documentation for the hair yeah you need to go to documentation for the hair you might not necessarily need to explain the entire thing but basically to change the color of the hair there at zero at a value of zero for the melanin the value of for melanin let me see if i can read this out the melanin parameter is used to generate natural hair colors by controlling the amount of melanin in the hair coloring colors will range from blonde around 0.2 to red and brown around 0.5 to black at 1.0 to control the air color with the texture map set melanin to zero and use base color instead but we're going to work using the melanin melanin for this so and this guy the character uh, the hair looks almost similar to that of a blonde almost similar to that of blonde hair if not even white almost completely almost completely white it's almost complete that's kind of brown i would say it's kind of redness to it kind of let me see which, 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 which should be the which should be the contribution from the melanin redness but we'll figure that out though <clears throat> but we'll figure that out though okay so melanin redness contains the redness of a uh, higher values increases the proportion of red for your melanin as found in red a uh, result of the amount of brown you melanin this is the value of zero default this is the value of one you can see more redness to the hair in here All right so um okay okay yeah so then we have the melanin randomizer randomizes the amount of melanin in air fibers with variation in air colors so you can see at the value of the defaults as a variation on the air 0 0.2 0 0.5 you can see more white hairs peeking through now as you can see then the brightness i'll leave at default defaults at least for me for, for what i'm doing is i think default should be fine Enforce the fine. Then we have the shift angle of scales of the air fiber, shifting the pyramid, shifting the primary and secondary specular reflection are away from the perfect mirror direction. I don't understand the technicality of this, the bots. We have some settings in here that we can use. So <clears throat> for light brown European air, the value should be <clears throat> set to 0 0.2.9, dark brown European 0 0.3. African and American 2.3, Piedmont 2.8, Indian, Japanese, Chinese. Okay. I think, I, I think I'm, I'm going for the light brown European instead. <clears throat> Let's get started on this. So, on, on my previous tutorial on YouTube, I already have, I already used something previously. And, and from the documentation, it says from a value of zero, I think 
let's see if we can find that again for, me, for the melanin for the melanin for the value of 0 0.2 0 0.2 to red from blonde okay colors will be range from blonde around 0 0.2 to red this is how it's not 0 0.2 here but it's 0 0.25 <coughs> And then on this reference I used for my tutorial, we are using a value of 0 0.2. <clears throat> it's not it's not completely blown though. But let's use something around 0. Point, okay, this is 0 0.2. Let's use something around 0 0.1. 0.18 so I'm going here typing 0 0.18 0.18 you can see how that changes the color of the hair <clears throat> but I think this should give us a clear idea as to how to manipulate the color a bit better okay Let's see. Let's see what happens when we drag this melanin up. Okay, I'm not, not really seeing the effects in here on our viewports. Okay, not very much. Let's see what happens when we put this to 0 0.12 instead. Can't really see the difference in there. So just completely white okay so if that is completely white and we have blonde at 0 0.2 <clears throat> then white is at completely one 0 0.0 0 at sorry at zero rather so let's try something around 0 0.1 instead let's see what that gives us and we also need to add some randomizing to this. Before we do run, add my randomizing, to, randomizing to this, let's just render this out. Let's see what we have. So do a quick save. Let's fire up our render and render view for this. Turn up and render view. Okay. We'll have this a bit more. Then see what we have. So once we're able to figure out the settings for this, that is what we're just going to use to. That is what we're just going to use for the other part here. Oh. I can see the other head uh, picking through this. I can see the. You can see the afro hair coming through this, which I don't want. So I'll see the afro hair collection. Try to hide that. Control A. Let's <clears throat> out in. So now it's hidden now. And I believe we're getting something, think something interesting enough to work with. Okay. How I many? Okay, I'm running this at 2K resolution, which is quite much. Let's stop this for now. <clears throat> okay, let me leave it. I'll leave this. I'll just do. Just render out just this so <clears throat> render out. Uh, the downside to this is that I wait for a while. I have to wait for a while. I should probably come when this is done. I should probably come back this on. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we forgot something. 
Let me stop this for now. The um the shifts for this uh which value I think I'm going to be using the light brown light brown European so a shift 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 okay shift that's three dark brown European so these are two point nine Okay, setting this at 2.9. Mm. Uh, the fact that we have to wait for long before we can see something in here is just crazy. We are probably that's due to my program, isn't those 32 bit program in here? So I might need to wait for a while. But so far, I think I like how I like what we are seeing in here. But just to just to if I render this out, let me just add some randomizer to this. I don't, I don't think I'll need redness in there though, but let me just add some randomizer to it. See here I'm using 0.75. Just giving us this result in here. So let me use the same 0 0.75 instead also in here. 0 0.75. Okay. Mm, melanin redness. Um, okay, let's add some redness in there. Let's use the same value 0 0.8 also. Let's see what that gives us. Save this again. Maybe I should just do a quick snap snippet of this snapshot of this. So, so, I, <clears throat> so I can kind kind of compare. So let me fire fire away. Okay. Fired more witness this. So I think I will just come back. Come back when this is done. So this is why. Come back when it's done. We we'll just join <coughs> join of the story. So I'll come back when this is done. So Okay, after rendering this out, this is what we have. I think this will work just fine for our permanent shader. It just work just fine for the permanent shader. The little nine to fix is we need some separations in here, it's just all over the place, just too noisy. Like it's too noisy. So I need to go into Exgen and then make some make some modifications to this. Because we need gaps in between. We need gaps in between. Kind of running a bit slow. So let's go to the XGN tab. Let's see what we can modify in here. Okay, so should be the center. Okay, let's see what we can do to make this kind of create some more tighter gaps in between, or maybe maybe even tighter clumps. Because this feels way too noisy. No clumping. So let's see what we have. So these are those corrections that you might need to just go and fix in there. 
maybe review the <clears throat> use the noise for this put it as 0 0.3 instead okay <clears throat> Need something a bit tighter. So these are just modifications you can do yourself to get a better result out of this. That's sure now which particular setting I'm supposed to use to run fix this. And I, and I don't think rendering was it called. I don't think reducing the numbers of hair is necessary, I guess. What is this? Okay. Just, I'm just looking at this again and I... Maybe, maybe the direction of the lighting. But even at that, I need gaps in between. I need gaps. I need a bit, a bit of gaps in between. Definitely need some gaps in between. So I'm trying to figure out which one me <clears throat> at least some larger proportion of gaps in between. Okay, maybe should, let's try reducing the numbers of there in here. Maybe, just maybe that might do the trick. Try a value of. The only expensive thing about this is the render time. Just the amount of render time that goes into it. Let me see you can run a reference also that should probably help. But I believe I need tighter clones. I think I need tighter clones. Maybe all the let's see if we can kind of get tighter clones inside of this. See if we can get tighter clumps. This is just part of the process. Necessary corrections we need just to get things to look right. Okay. Root tip. Let me take this down some more. It is that zero points. Okay, let's see. One zero point zero point three two three eight two. Let's try zero point two. Yes, I think this this did the trick. This one definitely tightens things up a bit more. That's complete. Okay. Just the back and forth thing until you get something good enough. Let's try this. Let's put this back at 80. Okay. Then back to the modifiers again on the clumping too. I'm 
leakage is down. There's something like this. Can you some more gaps in there? So save this. I'll go to the side air. Uh, Okay. I'll go to the side, but I think before I go to the side, uh, let me take this down to around 16. Let's do 16 for that. And the side, but uh, we need some more clumping around there to make it save. And the modifiers. Let's reduce the noise first. Let's see what we have. Okay. The clumping one. I'll select this. Drop this down to 0 0.2. That seems a bit. <clears throat> Seems a bit much though. Oh, okay. Let me say this to zero point two. Okay on the noise not being so think I'll leave clumping so as it is I think this is a good angle for this to render this out to render this out as okay Let's try rendering this. Let's see what we have. I'm already taking a snap snapshot of this already. Then I think I'll do a fuller render now. Take this off. Let's see what we have again. Yes, okay. So I would like to render a larger portion, like so. And I'll fire the render again. Okay. Yeah, that seems rather dark. I'll come back when this is done. So let me just give the same. 